Hello, February the 22nd video blog. Um, had the VST surgery on the 19th. Yesterday morning, we got released uh, from uh, Piedra Negras and uh, started our way back home. Um, yesterday morning, I was in a little bit of a pain. Um, cramping. My stomach was cramping. I think that all of the pain meds that they gave me through the IV finally wore off. I uh, woke up a lot that night. Uh, they do send you home with some pain medication, uh, some 10 milligram tabs, which are really, they're really good pain meds, and a couple of uh, 30 milligram sublinguals if you get into severe pain. Um, I should have been, I guess, probably taking them all along. Uh, I woke up and we were to go home that morning uh, and a little nauseous, um, dry heaved once and yeah, that wasn't fun at all. That hurt a lot. Um, thank God I didn't throw up. I just like uh, dry heaved once and it was, it was done. Uh, but uh, I had some stomach cramping. I went ahead and took one of those sublingual uh, 30 milligram pain pills that they gave us and uh, that took the edge off and uh, that got me home. So since I've been home, uh, what I've been struggling with is getting protein in. Um, this first week we're on clear liquids. This is Sunday, the 22nd. So yesterday was when I made it home yesterday morning, uh, yesterday and then today, uh, trying to find uh, some kind of protein that I can drink. Um, you know, really not supposed to be drinking the shakes right now because it's clear liquids and not the full liquids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so finally went this evening and got some Isopure uh, protein water, uh, which uh, there's 25 grams of carbs in this one bottle. And it looks like I'm going to be able to get one of these down before I go to bed. Uh, of course, it's 20 fluid ounces, so it's taken me a while to get down. Uh, but I think this is probably going to be the solution uh, for me to get some calories and some uh, protein in during this first week. Because this first week, you really don't have a lot of options as far as what you can drink. Uh, he wants it to be thin, watery liquids. Um, and that really cuts down on, on your, your, your choices on, on, on what you can take in. And uh, I don't want to go against what he says, the doctor, Alvarez, simply because, and I don't want to have problems with this thing. I don't want to uh, create a problem, and it's just not going to happen. So the Isopure doesn't really taste good at all. I mean, I've actually, uh, the Isopure I had, I added a little uh, Splenda with it to, to help uh, sweeten it up a little bit. Uh, and I may add a little sugar to it because at this point, this first week, uh, being the calories are not going to be a problem and the sugar is not going to be a problem because you're not hardly eating anything at all. Um, and basically, I've just got to I've got to find a way to get this protein and, and and also some water in me so I don't get dehydrated. Other than that. Uh, I'm taking the pain pills, the 10 milligram pain pills. I told you about uh, yesterday having the pain and doing the sublingual uh, on, before we left for, for home. And uh, I'd, every now and then I'll take a, a pain pill and, and they work pretty well. And so I've got them. So I, I'm taking them, I'm especially taking them in, at night so I can sleep. Uh, the stomach itself is not cramping today. Uh, the stomach itself does not hurt. Um, what I'm feeling is if I drink too much, if I take too big of a gulp, uh, I can feel it a pain in the center of my chest. And, and that's what he described that it would be, you know, there would be a pain in the center of your chest. And then you just kind of sit there a minute and it goes, it goes down. You can feel it go down. Um, when he's, when he describes that you should take small sips, He's not lying. Yeah, you, 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 you need to take sips uh, because that stomach is, is been cut up and sweat swall. 
Uh, it may be a six ounce stomach once it's, uh, you know, a month from now, but right now it's all swelled up and uh, it's probably only about two ounces. So uh, when I take a big gulp is when it hurts. Uh, so I'm trying to learn to drink. I'm trying to learn to take sips and wait for a little while and take another sip. Once the stomach goes down, I don't think this will be a problem, uh, but uh, it certainly is right now. So I'm on Isopure, and uh, I think that'll solve my protein problem. And uh, we'll do this for a week, and then we'll get back on some full liquids to where it'll be a little bit more manageable, a little bit more, a little, a little bit easier for me to uh, get the intake and the protein and the calories that I need. Uh, and of course, we're all going to be waiting on week four where I can actually have some scrambled eggs and stuff like that. So, but right now, like I said, stomach doesn't hurt. If I drink too much, it does. The incision points, there's five of them. And I guess I could show those to you. I don't know if you can see them. They're there. And then there's a big one over here. But um, those are those are a little sore, uh, especially when I get up and down. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't call it unmanageable pain. Uh, I'm not going to start doing crunches anytime soon. But uh, I can feel them. And I could probably do without the pain meds at this point, but... The pain meds kind of just assuring me that when I go to bed tonight that it's not going to wake me up when I roll over. And uh, it's not like I don't have a very addictive personality, so I don't mind taking the pain meds. Uh, there's no problem with me getting off the pain meds. So right now I'm taking them. And thank goodness I found the Isopure tonight. I'm going to start drinking that. And I'll let you know if uh, something else comes up that uh, you need to know about other than that. I'm still not sorry I did the surgery. Things aren't great right now, but I can see where they will be. Uh, I've still got a positive outlook. A lot of people are kind of down like this first week because, you know, you can't eat anything. You can't, you know, even, even the restrictive diet before the surgery, you're even more restrictive now. Uh, so, you know, I'm not completely happy, but uh, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I've still got a positive outlook. Uh, I know it's going to be good in the end, and uh, that's 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 the reason we did this—not for a short-term week or two weeks or three weeks, but for the rest of my life. So, uh, keeping a positive attitude and moving forward. If you have any questions, just uh, post them, and I'll try to answer anything I can. And uh, take care.